Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how you can get started with Builder.io, which is a visual development platform that lets you build high performance web pages without touching match code. Now the first thing that we need to do, of course, is we must log into our account. So let's click here and now just want to go to the app and you want to either continue with Google, with GitHub or create a new account. Now in Figma, you have two different kinds of spaces. You have, first of all, the publish space and the develop space. Now, the public space is basically going to allow you to drag certain pages or certain sections to your page. But the problem with this is that it actually requires an upgrade plan, like a premium plan in order to work properly. Okay. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to do much. However, with the developer plan, you can actually connect to Figma and you can try to grab things from there to put them into your website. Okay. Which is amazing. And this is more free. Okay, so I recommend that you actually create a develop space. Okay, how are you going to do this? Is by going here, and then you can just go to your name, and you can click on new space, and you can select develop, and you can just assign a name. Okay, now the first thing we need to do, of course, is we need to get our Figma plugin. This is going to let us connect to Figma. So let's just click here, either on the home page or on content. It doesn't matter. Just get on get Figma plugin. Then let's continue with our Google account or just sign into your account. Let's click on open in. And we're going to open whatever file we actually want to open. In this case, I don't know. Let's open this one. Now, once you have your Figma document ready here, the one that you want to export, what you have to do is uh, you basically have to select the part that you want to export to build or I.O. In my case, let's say that I want to export this navigation bar here, which is a frame, by the way, it's called frame one here. What I can do is I can just select it from either here or here. And then I can go to this toolbar. I can click on actions and I can go to plugins and widgets and I can search for builder IO. I can just click and now we're just going to choose actually and now you have different options here. You can use the directly export this design here. You can also modify to your liking by asking a certain prompt. For example, you can say, I don't know, make it make this red instead of green, for example, and it's going to be based on this design. Okay. And you can do also a bunch of different stuff, but the most important two are actually explore and design with the AI. Let's say that I want to export this directly as it is. Let's click on export design. It's going to take a few seconds and then it's going to give you two different choices. Okay. Or more even. So then, here we have it. Okay. So now choose your preferred version. Click on the version that matches your design. So let's just click here. And now this is going to give us this snippet of code, which we can copy and paste in builder. Okay. You can just click here to copy the builder directly, or you can just view the code in builder. Okay. If you press this button, which is what I'm going to do. So let's view it here. And now builder IO is going to open. And here we have our nav bar. Okay, which is amazing. Now, Builder.io lets you insert many different things like boxes, tags, images, buttons. Okay, like any other regular website editor or website creator. Okay, if you just go to insert and you select your preferred element, you can just drag it here. Okay, let's, for example, drag this text and let's actually, I don't know, hello there, for example. Okay, and we can just drag it to the center, for example. Actually, if we, we have to go to style and we have to place it in the center, like so. We can also modify the size, the style, many different things. We can also add kind of a pop-ups, okay, which are called here element events, which means that when you hover or when you, you know, basically click on something, this text is going to do something else, okay, which is great. You can add like a background, so all of that stuff, okay, and you can do the same with images, all right. Now, something that I find very powerful about this builder IO is the AI assistant, okay. So if we go to generate, we can actually ask it to do the very same thing, but faster. So let's say generate a heading that says hello there. That's it. That's as much info as, as we're gonna give it. Now it's gonna ask you, yeah, it's gonna ask you basically the page that you are basing your inspiration on. Okay, so just select whatever page you actually try to focus your design on and it's going to take that as a reference. Okay, so look, it's actually pretty good. And it's, you know, the heading and it's nice, actually, it's good. You can, of course, move it around. It's up to you completely. Now, after you're happy with what you have created, you can always go to publish update or just to publish here. Okay, and then you can just go to preview, quick preview, full page preview, and then this preview is going to open and you're going to be able to see what you have created. Amazing. Now, remember that to see your designs, you can just go to Builder.io and you can go to content and here you can see all of your designs. Okay. And you can access to them freely. Just to recap, I think Builder.io is a great tool because it lets you use the AI power visual copilot for code generation. It lets you use the drag and drop editor with component and data binding. And you also have different built in integrations with Figma, which is going to allow you to create pages in a matter of minutes using your beautiful Figma designs.
okay? So I think that this is a pretty good tool and you should definitely try it out, especially because it has a free version. Thank you so much.